In February 1966, a new musical called A Smashing Day opened in London's New Arts Theatre. It was produced and directed by Beatles manager Brian Epstein. The music for the show was written and performed by a young singer-songwriter who was also an actor with the Royal Shakespeare Repertory Company. I had a guitar, I composed the songs and the lyrics, and Robert Powell, lovely actor, was on the mouth organ, so there was a guitar and a mouth organ, and the musical narrator would link the scene changes or link the changes of dynamic or mood in this young man's life. It's a very 60s piece. So I became involved as the musical narrator. So did you have musical experience at that time as well as your theatrical background? Yes, from about 1965 or six onwards, I was writing my own songs. My own very simple, very Bob Dylan Beatles derived, uh, unashamedly derived songs and having them broadcast on the BBC, which was thrilling, I have to say. So it's opening night. Did you think because Brian Epstein was the producer of the show that perhaps the Beatles may be there in the audience? Well, fortunately, I was not aware that they were in the audience. I think it would have been paralyzing for yeah. me. The Beatles were my contemporaries and we worshipped them when I was a young actor in rap. Brian introduced me to them afterwards. I met them actually in this building. The Arts Theatre where I'm sitting now, it was there, right there. You see there's a row of red seats and then there's a chair. It was there, right there where I met John and Ringo and they were very generous to me. So I remember Ringo saying, yeah, it was great, yeah, it was great, yeah, it was great, yeah. And um, John saying, you know, you did the best you could with guitar and mouth organ. And I thought, that's wonderful. What a eulogy, what praise. You did the best you could with guitar and mouth organ, wow. So that's, you know, engraved in my heart. <laughs> 